Thank you, 432. Live right now to Michael Morrissey, the Norfolk DA, for an update about the situation in Stoughton. Let's listen. House, uh, ...to look for any additional victims or evidence and immediately contacted the state police detective units attached to the district attorney's office. Uh, we've been able to identify the victim as a 40-year-old female. A notification to the next of kin is currently pending, and we're hopeful to accomplish that sometime early this evening. Um, I know the chief would like to say a, a brief word, and, and I will answer some questions at the end that people have. Chief McNamara. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. On behalf of the members of the Stoughton Police Department, we'd like to extend our condolences and our heartfelt sorrow for the victim, her family, and her friends. Today, uh, we responded to an incident that in the beginning stages of this investigation, we believe is an isolated incident to that specific location and address. To our community, we believe at this time through the investigation that we have identified certain information in that investigation to lead us that it is an isolated incident. This is a tragic event and we have, will take great care with the Mass State Police and the district attorney's office to investigate this incident to its resolve. And at this time, I'd like to thank the district attorney's office and the Mass State Police for their hard work as we are investigating this incident and thank the officers of the Stoughton Police Department and the quick reaction that they did this, this morning in searching the home and making the area and the scene safe this morning. Thank you. Why are you saying an apparent homicide? What makes you believe she was murdered? I, 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 um, I, I want to this time disclose the, exactly what was seen, but it, I think I've indicated to you that it was obvious to officers at the time uh, that the person had suffered some significant injuries, and that's part of the ongoing investigation. But it, it was, um, I think, pretty simple for the police to, to figure out from what they have seen at that point. And that's all I will comment at this time. Was it what characterized uh, I won't even, I won't give you that information at this Did time. Do you know how long the body was there? We, um, well, I would say this, that we're looking for anybody who may have lived in the area, who, who may have uh, been in the area walking a dog outside from sometime last evening to early this morning, if they saw anything or heard anything to, um, to please contact the Stoughton police detectives or the state police detectives. So um, it is sometime during that time frame that, that uh, we believe the incident occurred. And uh, uh, the best incident we have, it was not a long period of time. Is there a person of interest or a suspect, any arrests? They, uh, we, we, we don't have anybody under arrest at this time. Um, the uh, a number of the area residents and people who um, may have knowledge of the property are, are helping and cooperating, and that's all I really have to say at this time. Is that like an in-law home, or is it? It's, it's hard for me to describe. Um, maybe the the police can help describe, but it, but um, it, it appears to be some kind of like a shed type outbuilding. They sometimes refer to like as a rec room or, or you know a unattached structure behind the dwelling. There appear to be security cameras on the home. Have those helped in shedding any light as to what happened there? If, uh, if there are, I'm sure they're being downloaded and, and uh, that'll be part of the investigation. Was someone living in the outbuilding? That's, uh, that's one of the questions that we're answering at this time. When you said someone had ties to the home and then found the person, can you tell us the circumstances that that person went to find this person? I mean, were they going out to breakfast? I mean, no, why did they I, go I don't know the place? full... Um, uh, reasons why, except that people were known to each other, and, and so I think that um, they had expected to see this individual uh, that was discovered, and they didn't, so they ended up checking the outbuilding and found her there. Are they residents in the home? Uh, there are some residences that are working with us. And Does, have, I mean, the couple who found... I, I really don't want to comment any further on Did that. Did the victim live at this property? Again, that's something that we're trying to fully ascertain. The chief said that she believes that this is an isolated incident, which would tend to suggest that you have some sort of idea of a motive. I'm not. It is not a random. I, 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 well, random I'm not sure that I would say that that um, a motive obviously is something that is trying to be developed. And I think some of you asked the the appropriate question: Are we looking at individual individuals? And obviously, wherever the evidence leads us, and that's obviously being actively followed right now. So. Um, you know, we're hoping to, to make some headway very soon. That's all I can tell you. Is it fair to say you do not believe it was a random attack? 
I, I think at this time I agree with the chief that it appears to be not a random act. And again, it's early on in the investigation. I wish I could tell you more. And when we learn more, which it could be as early as this evening, we will tell you more. Chief, are you familiar with this? You're listening to the latest developments coming out of the Norfolk County DA regarding the homicide investigation in Stoughton, where a woman's body was found in an outbuilding near a home there on Park Street. The latest we know the victim is a woman around 40 years old. When we get more details, of course, we will let you know. And the DA, Michael Morrissey, making it clear this is a homicide investigation. He went no further than that, but he made it clear it's a homicide investigation.